Hello, welcome to Master Matic. Let me tell you a secret. The first topic of this chapter is integers. Integers can be positive integers, zero, and negative integers. For example, positive one, positive two, or positive three. You can also write your positive integers without the positive sign. Zero, negative one, negative two, or negative three. Why? Why integers are important? Because we are using it in our daily situation. For example, increasing or decreasing of sea level and moving toward left or toward right. Let me give you another example. A helicopter is flying at positive 100 meter above the sea level. Another secret of this chapter is integers can be representing on number line. You can look at the number line from left to right, the value of integers are increasing. And from right to left, the value of integers are decreasing. Now, can you tell me which integers are greater? Is your answer correct? And please tell me which integers are smaller. I hope the answer is correct. Now, let's pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. And you may check your answer at the end of this video. Welcome back. The next secret of this chapter is arithmetic operation, which include addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Before we go to the addition example, let's look at the hint. When plus meet positive value, it will become plus. And when plus meet negative value, it will become minus. Let's look at the example. Positive 3 plus positive 3 equal to 3 plus 3. Positive 3 plus negative 3 equal to 3 minus 3. Negative 3 plus positive 3 equal to negative 3 plus 3. And negative 3 plus negative 3 equal to negative 3 minus 3. In this example, you will see when plus meet positive value, it will become plus. And when plus meet negative value, it will become minus. For subtraction, it is also similar to addition. Let's look at the hint. When minus meet positive value, it will become minus. And when minus meet negative value, it will become plus. Now, let's move to multiplication. The rules of multiplication must apply to perform the operation. Where Positive times positive equal to positive. Positive times negative equal to negative. Negative times positive equal to negative. And negative times negative equal to positive. Last one, division. Division is also similar to multiplication where 
positive divided by positive equal to positive, positive divided by negative equal to negative, negative divided by positive equal to negative, and negative divided by negative equal to positive. The final secret of this chapter is combined operation, where you may have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division in one operation. <music> to do combined operation, you have to solve step by step. First, you have to do the operation within the bracket first. Then, do the multiplication or division from left to right. And last, do your addition or minus from left to right. Look at my first example. There are an inner bracket inside a big bracket. Therefore, you have to solve the inner bracket first, followed by the outer bracket, multiplication, and the last will be the subtraction. For the second example, there are no bracket in the operation. So you will do the multiplication, followed by division, and last addition. And the last example, there are no brackets, no multiplication, no division. Therefore, you just have to do addition and subtraction. Now, let's pause the video for 10 minutes and try this question. And you may check your answer at the end of this video. 